I feel that the clock is very much ticking. Each year, the oil and gas industry releases 16 million metric tons of methane into the atmosphere. My own asthma became significantly worse, and my daughter was diagnosed at the age of two. His whole left lung was completely taken over, and the cancer spread quickly throughout his body. By Thursday, October 15th, my mom, my sister, and I sat with him in the living room of his dream home and watched him take his last breath. We are seeing more and more health-related effects of both climate change, air pollution, and methane gas, and the burning of natural gas. I try to imagine Rafael's adulthood and that of your kids and grandkids. We've seen previews of families fleeing and perishing in forest fires. We've seen mothers floating their babies down Houston streets in plastic crates and friends in Puerto Rico without electricity for months when two Category 4 hurricanes hit the island in the space of 10 days. I see workers capping hundreds of thousands of abandoned oil and gas wells. Everyone who works for the president to use every tool available at our disposal to solve the climate crisis. Think of all of the people that have pollution from oil and gas thrown in their faces. We're asking for you to protect our way of life. What will our future grandchildren say about us? Will they blame us or thank us? Now is the time to act. We may have vanishingly little time left. So there is no time to waste. I urge the Environmental Protection Agency to cut oil and gas methane pollution 65%. 65%. 65%. 65%. By 2025.